Live from Berlin, Germany, it's the Cube covering NetApp Insight 2017. Brought to you by NetApp. Welcome back to theCUBE's live coverage of NetApp Insight here in Berlin, Germany. I'm your host, Rebecca Knight, along with my co-host, Peter Burris. We are joined by Alfred Manart. He is the Senior Director, Channel, and System Integrators, EMEA, for NetApp, and Lars Gobel, who is the Head of Strategy and Innovation for DARS. Thanks so much for joining us. Thank you. Thank you for the invitation. So, Manfred, I mean, Alfred, before the cameras were rolling, we were talking a little bit about key partnerships and why they are so critical to helping NetApp manage the data and help it flow freely. Can you tell our viewers a little bit more about the, okay. the partnerships aspect? So uh, we, have, of course, uh, partnering with NetApp is a base of our strategy. It's not a, just an a initiative, so partnering is, is key for us. And what we currently see is that the partner landscape has to change. The existing partner that what we are trying to help them to transform to the digital world, change the world with data on the one side, and on the other side we need additional new partner that make the complex customer oriented offering become reality. And this is an example probably Dars does anyhow, that they build up these kind of multiple partnerships to offer the customer related offering and solution for the end customers. Great, great. So, so tell us how you fit in here, Lars. I mean, as, as these important partnerships. So, um, we are in a situation that uh, IT is getting more and more complex. Um, and we also get in the position um, that um, the understanding is now clear that not um, the company can internally are the best at every part. So, for example, Global Innovation Index uh, makes the analysis uh, with the outcome that everywhere where partnerships exist, um, the innovation uh, is much higher. And today we talk over a new business model, we talk over innovation, scalability, flexibility, and for these topics and also for the, uh, for the new um, size of, of um, environments and also of the challenges um, the customers have, they need the best for every part of the solution. And we as Darts, as a full IT service provider, uh, try to bring that together. So we offer from co-location housing over private cloud host hosting up to a public cloud and hybrid cloud scenarios, the complete bandwidth. So we bring together Amazon and Web Services and Microsoft Azure to realize one solution for the customer. So every large enterprise is going to have multiple relationships like the one that they have with you. And while you are helping to bring Amazon and Azure and others under the DARS uh, umbrella of services, there is going to have to be something that connects them a little bit more deeply, right? It's probably going to be data. Yeah. So tell us a little bit about you know, that underlying fabric that's going to be required to ensure that data can be rendered in all of these different environments and sourced from all of these different environments according to the needs of business. What do you think? What, is, what will NetApp's role in that be? That's an interesting one. I think uh, the, the world from a partnership perspective is even get more complex. Yeah? Instead of uh, uh, making everything at the single one, one initial shot more tactical, it's more outcome based, longer term based. So if you're not thinking that way, what should be my desired outcome of what, how my world should look like in a year, in two years from now, you probably choose the wrong partner from the beginning. So this kind of um, being relevant and be prepared for the future, for all the challenges that are coming up is very, very important. And data is a short term issue and of course you have to consider what you want to do with data long term. That is it's a challenge to balance out the short-term benefits with the long-term objective you have. And this makes the world more complex. So what do you look for in a partner? As you said, you, you, you could realize too late you chose the wrong partner from the beginning, but what are sort of the key characteristics and attributes that you want? Okay, from our perspective, we also, we do two things. On the one side, we concentrate on the existing partners and support them on their way to the new world. Yeah? Not all of them will make it. Yeah? And on the other side, we have an acquisition program in place that we address 
the uh, partners that are needed for the future and also expand the ecosystem with partners which are probably we are not even aware of. Talking about Colo partners, alliance partners, cloud partners, we currently have not in our portfolio. So it's both, driving the existing channel ecosystem to the digital world and acquiring partners that are needed for the future. Great, well Alfred Lars, thank you so much for coming on the show, it's been great having you. Thank you, thank you very much for inviting us. I'm Rebecca Knight for Peter Burris. We will have more from NetApp Insight just after this. Ah.